Okay, good day everybody. This is my Shipmate Model 212 Wood Range. Built to go in fishing boats back in the early 1900s. Give you a little bit of a walk around here of some of the features. It's kind of a cool old stove. It's about to get crated up, I think. Anyway, um, it's got uh, holes in the feet that you can see, so it can be screwed down to the deck. It's also got a chain attachment point on each end, so you can put a chain down to the deck as well, so you can you know, pretty well guarantee this thing isn't going to move once it's mounted where it needs to be. And uh, same on this side, of course. It's a pretty small stove. It's not that big. It's meant to go in a fishing boat. It probably fed, you know, I don't know, four or six people when they used it for cooking. It is a range, so it is meant for uh, cooking. It's not really any good for heating, I don't think. Anyway, we'll take a look at, uh, at some of the features here. This is your firebox, and let me get a flashlight here. It's lined with uh, brick. It's designed to burn wood or coal. Okay, there's the firebox when it's been uh, opened. And then down here on the bottom we have an access uh, hole and a door for the grate shaker. If I can get it hooked up here. There we go. So you can operate the, the grate and flip over the ashes and stuff, the old coals, whatever, while the door is shut. Everything is heavy weight on it so it, uh, the weight alone keeps things locked. This of course is the great shaker handle. It's got a multi-position vent here for airflow if you want to leave this one closed. And then this is the uh, ash box. One of the pieces, the old uh, fire brick uh, that I kept so I could get some measurements. Okay, here we have the range door. And it's a small little uh, oven, but it does have a removable shelf. So you could put a small kettle of, you know, like a casserole pot or something like that in there, soup pot maybe, and uh, or you could put the shelf back in and then heat up, uh, you know, two plates of food at a time. Pretty simple. This lever up here operates the uh, direction of airflow. Um, you can have the stove running so that. Uh, it just sends flames up and past the surface and then out the pipe or you can uh, redirect the airflow with that lever here so that it goes around the oven before it exits so it's up to you okay and then up on the top here we have uh, removable rails and that's to keep the pots from falling off when you're on rough seas and then uh, they had a special adjustable pot stopper uh, you would just slide this over on the rail wherever it needed to be and uh, 
it kept the pot kind of trapped where you wanted it to be. I think they normally would have come with two, one for the back and one for the side, but I only got one. Standard uh, lifter for the rings. And as you can see, you can, uh, you know, if you want a little more heat on the pan, you can pull out one or, or uh, two. Maybe you have a kettle that fits perfectly in one of the particular sizes. And as with a lot of old stoves, it's got an oval output, which can be kind of a problem for some people. But they make adapters. You can find them. If not, you can modify something. I think in reality, its life is probably over. It's going to be uh, cleaned up and used for display or something like that. I don't think I'm really going to get around to, you know, refurbishing it. Although I do have a brand new fire brick I bought and I bought high temp silicone sealant and stove polish and stuff like that so maybe if we get a shop set up sometime we'll uh, take this thing apart and fix everything, sandblast it all, clean it, get it all put together. It is a uh, really unusual model, Shipmate model 212. And this uh, company, Shipmate, I think they were in, oh, I think they were in Pennsylvania or something like that. They made a lot of, a lot of ship stoves for the fishing schooners and stuff like that. Uh, they made some that were much, much bigger than this one. In fact, they made double wide stoves uh, that were, you know, five times the size of this thing. Anyway, I guess that's just a little quick look at the Shipmate Model 212 schooner stove. Have a great day, everybody.